guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWCRAM.com. Instagram, ERW underscore CRAM. Etsy, ERWCRAM.etsy.com. Today we're going to do a plan with me for August 2021. Uh, normally I would start a plan with me by going over all the tools. I thought for this plan with me, because I'm just kind of winging it. I would just do the plan with me and I'll go over whatever I'm using as I'm using it. So that's the, the plan with me plan for today. Wash. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is wash the, the top part of the planner. And I thought this looked really fun, bright, and cute, so we're going to go with that. Rotate it upside down. And Going to my planner is getting pretty chunky. Sound off in the comments. Let me know how your planner chunk is doing. And let me know, because this is the first year for it, how is your um, hardcover passion planner doing with the planner chunk? Uh, as I said, this is passion planner's first year ever doing the hardcover. Um, and they started with the 2021. And Honestly, I was kind of curious as to how these are holding up for you guys. Um, mine is doing great, but everybody's a little different. So I would just, like yes, yeah, sound off in the comments. Let me know how is your planner, your 2021 hardcover, if you have one. How's it holding up? So yeah, we're just going to go in here. You've seen me do this a thousand times. Um, or some of the older plan with me that I've done, I'm just going to kind of tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but not really go over in any super instructional sort of way. Um, this is just how I always do weekly. Start with the wash tape at the top, unless I'm using a kit, like out of my store, out of Chelsea's store, something like that, then the process changes a bit. But otherwise, I'm just going to do it like this. And it's funny, now that I've been doing these videos for almost two years, I've actually started planning where I am actually turning the planner upside down to put the tape on. I think it's kind of hilarious. All right. uh, this is, by the way, a Girl of All Work tape. I got it off of Jet Pen. I'm not sure if Jet Pen is still carrying it. You can get it off of girlofallwork.com. So, there's that. Now, something interesting that I did last week's plan is as you know, I like to have the sticker itself touch the paper so that it kind of adheres. Uh, last week, I had this washi tape here that I actually just put it down the middle and then put it at the bottom. And I'll show you kind of how we do that right now to start to show you how to do this. If you're using the safe focus section, then I don't recommend doing this. Um, but you can totally do this if you don't need it. I just like to go a little bit into the black here. So whatever is on the top part here, we're going to keep on the top part of it. If you're using a splice tool like I am, make sure you use light strokes. You don't want to accidentally cut your paper. Also, not too light because you do want to cut through the tape. And you don't have to be too perfect with the edges when you're doing this. And I'm just going to go down here and cover up the today focus with the rest of the washi. This washi is not as wide as the washi I used last week, so it's a little bit off for covering the today's focus section. But it's honestly close enough that it won't bother me. Almost the right way. One from last week was definitely too wide 
for everything else and it works perfectly at the bottom now. Um, so through like that, you may have to glue it down a bit. And you also may have to make an adjustment in your tape. I'm telling you, the paper in this planner this year, um, in the fashion planner, it just, it has so much wash, of my washing tape. So I've never had a problem before in a passion plan. It just kind of came up with it. Um, so just, anyway, so again, yeah, just gonna keep going. Glue it down, or tape it down. If it, if yours is coming up, the way mine is coming up, glue pen. Okay. I would just grab kind of the corner here. Glue it down. If I end up be using some stickers, so that'll be fine. I'll just turn it around and do it on the other side. And again, you don't have to be too precious with this. Uh, I this edge here. So I just start sewing the biggest thing for the base, the base of the base. And it comes out. Especially because we have a new passion planner stuff launching on the 19th. That's on Thursday. I'm very excited. Um, I can't tell you guys yet what is going to be part of that launch. I'm sworn secrecy. Um, but I am pretty excited about some of it. Um, Passion Planner itself, if you follow them on Insta, you can kind of see info about what's going to come in the night and the launch in the 19th. So, you know, if you follow them on Insta, you probably already know what was dropping. Lots of rumors flying, some of them are true, some of them are not so true. Um, as usual, they still haven't figured out how to get um, ambassadors like me a, uh, the, the ability to basically buy the product. I'm not even looking for the ability to buy the product prior to launch day. That still hasn't happened. So one I will be doing a live video tomorrow uh, to celebrate launch day. At the time that it launches, I will be going live so you can hang out with me. But I won't have any of the product on hand to try. Well, because A, as I've said a billion times in the past, they don't give me anything for free. I don't get free stuff. I'm not cool. To get, I'm not cool enough to get free. Um, and even if I could buy, even if I wanted to buy it, which I do, we haven't gotten the logistics sorted to allow us to buy before launch day. Um, I don't know, you guys. But yeah, launch day tomorrow, super exciting. Um, when the launch happens, and I'm, I promised the time last time, and then Passion Planner was a bit late with the timing, so I look like an idiot. <laughs> I'm hanging around like, oh, I can't talk to you yet for this live. So I'm not going to put the live time specifically out there yet, um, but as soon as you get the email from Passion Planner, if the sale is done live, then I will be live to talk to you about what's going on. What is really cool is that when the sale goes live, they hadn't decided as of the launch meeting what the discount was going to be. But whatever that discount is, when the sale goes live, you use Elizabeth 10 and you'll get that discount. So if they give you 25% off, you'll get 25% off using Elizabeth 10. So that's new and exciting. Because um, in the past, it was either you could use my code was the 10 and get 10 percent off or you could use the launch day code and get your that 20 pounds this year for all launch events anybody who is a, who is a brand ambassador for the company this is myself can uh you get out the rest code you know the code says 10 in it you'll get 20 or 25 or whatever the scale discount is so that's exciting so tomorrow when they launch, all the new releases kick off tomorrow. Go in and get Elizabeth 10 at passionplanner.com and you'll get the yeah, either 20 or 25, whatever you decide by launch day. Pretty cool, right? I 
it. I'll be there to tell you what I bought when I go live and to kind of chit chat with you about what I'm excited about my um, opinions on the product that I haven't seen yet. Um, so yeah, exciting thing. Um, while I was chit chatting, I put on my Days of the Week stickers after I split my washi. Uh, these are the uh, Days of the Week weekly stickers in pineapple from Chelsea Brown. I'm just gonna go in here with my no timeline sticker here. And this sticker over my timeline. So, you know, obviously if you're watching this 24 hours after it drops, you'll already know what the new releases are. But if you're watching this on Wednesday, tell me in the comments what you hope will be released by Fashion Planner on the new release tomorrow. Um, like I said before, I am an ambassador for Passion Planner. I carry back to them everything you guys tell me. So if you say, oh my God, Elizabeth, what I really was hoping for was, you know, a uh, Passion Planner weekly in a an A6 size. It's really small, but that's what you're really hoping for, a better paper, or different colors, or the 2022 launches, or whatever. Well, 2022 launch will happen. Or like larger dailies, like I want to have a daily and a medium or a large. You know, put it in the comments, and I can take your comments back to Passion Planner when we have our ambassador meetings. I can tell them what you guys, my audience, are saying that they want to buy. Um, are there stickers that you want to buy from that? Because I mean, there's been there's a lot of conversation around sticker shops, such as myself, such as Chelsea's shop versus the stickers that they're selling. So, you know, if you have a strong opinion one way or the other, or if there's some kind of sticker you want or a sticker artist that you think they should go after, drop it in the comments and I will take that back to them. So, all right, I did the stickering over in the yellow. And now, this is, some, this is the sticker book that Chelsea did last year with the, um, Black Friday drop, and it's basically sticker release paper so that you can stick your leftover stickers from maybe tip into this book and hold on to them so you don't have to have a huge old book like I do. This one, even though it's Sunday start, I can scroll you right there. And yeah, so that's, if you're wondering, that's what this is, and it's like, old stickers from my kit, from her kit, that sort of thing. So, stick it in this. Um, now, this is a little trick I used in the past if you looked at some of my pieces. Well, I'll take some of these little guys from her kit that I don't really use and use them to cover up the this week's focus, and then I can change it to, I think I want to say this week, it does make it a little bit bulkier this way. So now I have like a little this week sticker. There. So that's my setup. Um, I did the no time timelines. I just want to try that out, see how that works. And what I'm going to do is a little bit of a unique way of handling my planner um, this week. And I'll show you how I do one, and then I'll just kind of go through and do the rest. And if you watch my video, on how to set up a, an Amplify planner. Uh, I think it's like seven ways to set up your Amplify. You'll see me do this exact technique already. So the old school for you. So there's my appointment. Um, I don't think I have any appointments on Monday. I'm gonna just skip ahead to Tuesday. So much for the way I planned this. Mm 
I'm thinking, I don't think I have anything set up for Monday. So I have stuff for Tuesday. For a second, go in here with one of my highlighters. Once it dries a bit, so I'm going to avoid the mark print because I have a complete piece. There you go. And then, and then, and then. So that's my how I can do that appointment. Um, if I have any other appointments for that day, I can do those in there as well that way. So that's how I do my appointment. And so next we'll do daily tasks. I want to leave, like for the rest of these, I want to leave those a lot of space here so I can write in additional stuff. I can run a whole household on this. Um, I can have a unit five. So I can just bring this in. Five to six. And I can put down here. Create light. Those are all my appointments here. I can go ahead and do my task list. And then I can make it like a must do task, you know, the things that like I absolutely have to accomplish in the given day. I have my little task bar here. That's my daily tasks. And then I could do another space. I'm going to put it on. And if I'm doing meal planning, I can do meal planning. I can do an exercise plan. So. And then going to gratitude. That. So I want to do something about like with this. I think this is something that I'll actually do is be mindful of spending. So I'm going to put a spending section here. And then I can keep track of all the things I bought that day. Each meal, I can do a breakfast. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my planner. Set it up for a little bit. So as I mentioned, I started doing it this way um, after I made a Amplified Planner video where I showed you six or seven different ways to do different layouts in the horizontal Amplified Planner. And I really started liking doing this little calendaring trick or this little clock trick to show what time and for how long an event is going to occur. Um, the tool that I'm using is available from JetPens. All of my stencils come from JetPens, actually, um, but I will put a link to them on Amazon in the, the description of this video so that you can grab those for yourself. They are all 
intended for uh, to using a travelish journal. Um, but I've been using them in the Passion Planner and in Amplify for a year at this point, probably more than a year, and they work out really, really well. So, again, if there's any kinds of questions, anything that you'd want to see in a future video, anything you want me to take back to Passion Planner, if you basically on your direct line to Passion Planner, then let me know and I will take that info back. Um, if there's anything that you want to see in the first uh, Amplify, also all ears, um, let me know, hey, you know what, I'd love to see an Amplify, and I can relay that back to the Amplify Planner people as well. Um, one of the interesting things, of course, is that um, you know, Amplify is also very, very uh, active on social, very attentive to you. You can go on their official Facebook group and let them know directly. Now, a little bit of uh, insider info. I do know that Passion Planner has been working on trying to get an official Facebook group up and running. So, just a little info. Um, I. Uh, and I know this because I applied to be one of the mods. Did not get that, but I applied, and that's the important part. Um, not honestly sure why. I think it may be my association with Amplify Planner. Uh, it could also be the fact that I have a stickers shop, even though I said I would not promote my own stickers um, as a mod. But you know, maybe they don't trust me. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. I'm not. I can't take that question back to them now. Um, so if you have any questions or comments about the products that you'd like to see from Passion Planner, you are always welcome to leave a comment and let me know something that you'd like me to relay to the team at Passion Planner. I'm always happy to do that. Also, if you enjoy the um, plan with me videos, let me know. And if there is something else that you'd rather see than how I plan out a week, yeah, different layouts and things, also let me know. I do the plan with me because I know some people really like them. I, there are some people who have said they get really stuck and kind of overwhelmed and they see like a really cool looking layout. And so my plan with me focus is mostly to just kind of help you see how I do these cool layouts and give you an idea of different ways to use your planner. Uh, but you know, if there is something that you would rather see me do in a video, within reason, let me know and I will ask, just put it in the comments, throw it in the comments, uh, let me know and I will do it in a future video. Um, so yeah, that, that's all I know. Okay, so as usual, I'm just going to subdivide my task list down here. That I have more task list space um, for this museum that I'm using. Uh, as I've said in the past, he's marked in about four and four and a half millimeter or centimeters, forty and forty-five millimeters. Metric system it needs to be doing that that way. And then we can go ahead and subdivide our task list. Oh, I went a little outside the line there. I have to do that from behind, I guess. Not so we can white out. Not the worst, not the best. Okay, on the other side. Now I have my subdivided task list. 
Uh, next thing I'm going to do is draw in a habit tracker and a uh, meal point tracker. So we'll start with our habit tracker. So these are going to do them in pencil.
that will be our daily habit. Points, we're going to go in and divide it by seven. So I'm going to try and do this edge here and just straight line. And then I want to find seven, edge seven. The working edge. So I'm going to cover up and go. Point sticker. If you're following a point type program, I do have a point per, or point sticker in my shop. So you know. All right, and then I just have to divide. We'll call it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and draw all of that in. Now all that's left to do is erase the line. As I've talked about many times before, you want to erase in one direction, like you're pulling from the center outward. And then if you notice any faint lines, like I have a couple lines there that are very faint, with marker skips, you can just go back in and pen them. You're erasing vertically, remember from the center of your paper down. You don't want to do what I just did and kind of scrub. And you always go from the center of the book to the uh, across. So from the center of one line across the book to erase all the fancy lines. This is the combo um, two, yeah, two way correction tape and eraser that I'm using. And that because then when I have areas where I've made a mistake with the pen, pop that out. And that like that. And I can either slice the lens and do my thumbnail here. Like that. So, and there we 
Julio. Fantastic. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's still good. I'm still gonna call it done. Okay. Really a hard place to do nice lettering. There we are. Final thing I will do is go ahead and add my days of the week. Please, I got some passion player. I'm going to go ahead and add those into the top of my stickers. Okay. Okay. Final thing I'm going to do, take my days of the week stickers from passion planner and go ahead and add them in to my calendar. Uh, this is one of those places where if you use the, uh, Elizabeth 10 code, it's really going to come in handy for you if you buy stickers or markers or something else during the sale that starts tomorrow. Because if you use the code that uh, Passion Planner gives you, then um, it'll only take the sale amount off of the sale item. So, for example, if you're getting the new items that drop tomorrow, you'll get if you use whatever the passion plan code is for the sale, you get the, let's say, 20% off the sale item, the new items that launch, but you're not going to get any kind of discount on your uh, any other purchases of which products that already exist. So, if you use Elizabeth 10, it'll take whatever the sale price is off of the newly launched item. And, which we'll talk about tomorrow in the live, and it will also take 10% off anything else that you buy in the store. So, for example, so for example, you wanted to go ahead and you know, like that's the tool and fingernail because these are a little bit fiddlier than Chelsea's numbers. So yeah, if you want to get some calendar stickers to go in the new planner that's dropping tomorrow, that I, mean, I can't tell you what it is, but um, one of the new things that or two of the things that they are dropping tomorrow are things you have asked for. Wink, wink. Um, you grab those and you use my code, and you'll get the, dis the sale discount of twenty percent off, and you'll get ten percent off the calendar stickers or your sticker book or whatever or the marker. And there is the before the pen spread for this week in my passion plan. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and make sure you share the video with your friends. If there's anything you'd like to see in an upcoming video, um, once again, comments you want me to relate a passion planner, any questions, or if you want to tell me how you're doing it with your hardcover planner, please make sure to leave a comment. Also, make sure you subscribe. We are currently on a kind of variable schedule. We try to go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. However, things, especially now that Delta is here, have been a little wibbly wobbly tiny wimey so the best way to find out if a new video is up is to subscribe um also if you enjoyed the video please consider contributing to the patreon that's patreon.com slash drw plan 
Um, as I mentioned in the video, everything that you see here, I have to do out of my own pocket. I get nothing for free being a passion planner ambassador or being an early adopter or amplified planner. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please consider kicking in just a dollar a month. Um, you are every bit helps. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and stick around for the next video.